Hi everyone, this is Prashad, your English Fluency Guide. Welcome to my channel, Prashad Putnuru. Can you guess the name of this sport? Now, I'm going to read this wonderful story for you. And I'm going to give you one task to you. You need to suggest one title. A beautiful title you need to suggest. Think out of box, my friends. You can give one title. Please mention it in the comment section. And also, you need to tell the moral of the story too. These are the two tasks for you for today. This is the homework for you. Okay. Thank you. Before we, before we go to the story, just make sure you subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you won't miss any video from my channel. Thank you. Now let me start reading this story. Lily is a little girl. Lily is a little girl who is shy and reserved. But she enjoys playing shocker. Her friends and classmates ridicule Lily for her interest in shocker. Nonetheless, she is determined to pursue her passion and become a successful shocker player. Here there is a girl. Her name is Lily. Little girl. She is shy and reserved. She doesn't mingle with others. Okay. She doesn't want to express her feelings. So she is reserved. Reserved means who doesn't mingle with others. But she enjoys playing shocker. But the positive thing is she enjoys playing shocker. Shocker is uh, I showed you right. Just now I showed you picture. Her friends and classmates ridicule Lily for her interest in shocker. Her friends and classmates they don't believe her talent okay they don't believe in her talent she wants to uh, play that game and wants to become a great player and her friends ridiculed laughed at her oh your ambition is too high you can't you can't become uh, stop playing that game you can't become a good player like that her friends and classmates ridiculed that's common when you start something new people just they just can't believe in you right so what you have to do is you need to believe in yourself if you believe in something no matter what others say whether they believe in you or not doesn't matter you just go on work hard definitely will reach your goal so in the same manner here lily too even though her friends and classmates ridicule her she does she doesn't she didn't give up okay Nonetheless, she is determined to pursue her passion and become a successful soccer player. But she was not disgraced. Okay, with a strong determination, she wanted to uh, pursue her passion and become a successful soccer player. Her ambition is to become a successful soccer player. She was not disgraced, even though her friends and classmates ridiculed her, mocked her, mocked at her, laughed at her. She was not disgraced. She didn't lose her heart. Nonetheless means even though. Now, uh, let me read the second paragraph from the story. Every day after returning from school, Lily quickly finishes her homework and practices soccer. Her mother understands the love Lily has for the sport and supports her, supports in her every way. In every way means completely. Okay. Every day after returning from school, okay, Lily quickly finishes her homework. She is it too? No, she finishes her homework because she has to practice. We need to practice in order to become great. We need to practice whatever it is, whether it is sport or whatever it is, you need to practice a lot. Whether it is spoken English, for what for anything, in order to become great, you need to practice it. In the beginning, everybody will ridicule, everybody will laugh at you, everybody will mock at you. They don't believe, they don't know you are going to achieve something. So in the same manner, Lily's friends too uh, laughed at her. Okay, when she says uh, that she is going to become a great sport person, everybody laughed at her. But she was not disgraced, she continued. And after coming back from school, first thing she does is to finish her homework. We should not neglect our studies, right? So, 
Lily uh, finishes her homework first. After that, immediately she goes to ground and she begins to practice shaka. Her mother understands. So her mother understands her love for this sport and uh, gave her complete support. Now, let me read the third paragraph from the story. When the inter-school competitions are announced at the school, Lily decides to participate. She takes part in the selection trials and her classmates mark her once again. So, the time has come. Inter-school competitions are announced at school. So, Lily, uh, uh, Lily decides to participate in that and she takes part in the selection trials. Whatever the process is there, she, she participated in that. She gave her num name to, and this time too, her classmates mocked at her. Why are you participating? It's no use. Like that, they laughed at her, laughed at Lily. But they're shocked when Lily performs well and the judges select her to represent the school. Lily's commitment and hard work mute every person who mocked her. So my dear friends, so finally what happened? She was selected and she is going to represent the school. So then her friends and classmates were shocked. Oh, we did not know this girl has this much talent. We mocked at her, we laughed at her. She was selected now and she is going to represent the school. Then they understood. And in this way, with hard work and commitment we need to mute the critics whenever somebody is laughing at us we need not give a reply with our success we need to give a reply here lily didn't say anything when they mocked at her she didn't say anything she continued her practice she, she believed in her dreams and finally she won so that's the end of the story so i just want to remind you regarding homeworks please suggest a suitable title and you need to tell the moral of the story you need to write it in the comment section thank you all of you for watching this video and today's homework is to write the moral of the story in the comment section moral of the story and title of the story make sure you subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon and don't forget to like the video and share it with your friends and family members thank you your fluency guide Prashadu take care all of you bye